Hotel for a good while. Oh, we'll find for out the soon. rest for the rest of the day. Uh, oh, are we starting? Yeah, I think I'm not sure. Who's who's using you? Who? Oh, we Doc. have yeah, Chess is going Doc with the Carnas cheek, and we have uh, Joker and me going at Yoshi Samus. Nice. Oh, I have Genus sitting right here next to me. Okay, hey, hey. Genus. Take my mic. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Is this game one? Yeah, it's a game. It just started right now. All right, nice. And we got Mamie and Joker versus Karna and Karna and Tesh. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, Karna almost got a quick kill on Mamie already. At 87% of Yoshi, bouncy fish off stage. Okay. But uh, so, so how do you how do you think this match is gonna boil out as they're you know juggling first stage control? Well, I feel like Joker's gonna be playing more of a passive role, like kind of covering Mamie's approaches. Um, Karna and Tesh are gonna try and do something similar. She's really good at just like interrupting things from afar and also Definitely. just getting quick damage. And Tesh is gonna be the kill power for the most part. Karna might get hard reads, but for the most part, Tesh is gonna have to definitely land those kills. It's gonna be very dangerous for him too because uh, Dr. Mario not having the best recovery in the game mm -hmm. by any means. And uh, you have someone like Yoshi who's able to just go off stage and throw off one forward airs. Mm -hmm. As long as Karna doesn't, you know, keep Tesh, you know, control off stage. Or not control, but like safe. Yeah. So, some good spacing by Tesh right there, but he's definitely on the latter end of the spectrum. He has the most percent and the less stocks out of everybody on the screen right now. Actually, I just realized that Tesh is actually at two stock. I don't, I don't even recall seeing the first stock disappear. Me either. That's what I'm saying. And here we go. This could be a good kill. Wow, <laughs> man. I mean, Joker is suicide. Definitely. That sucks. Definitely not part of the plan. <laughs> we have, so right now, uh, uh, not relatively equal. Uh, Tesh does need to you know, keep back a little bit, make sure he's able to keep that stock, hold it as long as he can while uh, Karna works his magic, gets that damage added up. Mm -hmm. And see, like moments like that, Karna was recovering. Joke, Mame immediately went over for the two v one on Tesh. Karna and Tesh need to do that more because Tesh is about to lose the stock eventually, and he may have to take Karna's. Mm -hmm. And it's a really read. good read on Karna right there. Read the back row, and so here we go. So now the game, the name of the game is Keep Tesh Alive for the rest, yeah. like for the rest of the game. You have, to, you have to deal with the four stocks, so it's gonna be a, definitely uphill uh, battle from this point going forward. And see, uh, as you see, Joker just really sitting back, realizing it's their game to lose right now. Nice up smash from uh, Tesh, kept following up on Karna's grab really well. And see, I would have liked for Tesh. Oh, that sucks. That's going to be a suck. <laughs> and that's Karna's <laughs> suck. Okay, so Yoshi's forward air. I always get deceived by how fast it is mm -hmm. and how much range it covers. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Whenever I see Yoshi's throw it out, I, I think sometimes it's not optimal. Or why would you throw it out at such low percent sometimes? But it just, it's so solid. Like, why, why wouldn't you just throw it out? If like, you air dodge, a, you get an air. It's a kill, it's a kill move. It's a spike. It's a combo starter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's and it's a good spacing tool too. So definitely, I I, I do know that um I've seen some sets of wall where he'll land the forward air on the ground into a smash, mm -hmm. and I I still can't believe that that works at points. <laughs> That's something ridiculous. So where do you think they would counterpick uh, Joker and Mami too? Hmm. What stages would we all would be good against someone like this? Because they're both really heavy characters, Samus and Yoshi. Yeah. Um, their kill power is definitely lacking as far. Like, it, they do have Doctor Mario's kill power, which is immense, but um, you, it's not fast. Like, Doctor Mario is just not a fast character. Yeah, he's, he's really not. slow. He's very vulnerable off stage, and then you have Sheik, who's a decent character to add up damage on. But how is she going to finish stocks? Exactly. So. It matters what they feel was their problem on the first match. Was it because they didn't have enough room, or was it that they had too much room for May Man Joker to like pretty much space around them and just really get their combos going? So if they feel like they want like a smaller stage. I feel like they'll go maybe like Battlefield, which is also really good for Doc too. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Wall actually doesn't like platform stages because of the if he tries to down B your shield like in mix up potential, oh, it, it won't work out. So that could work out for them. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I, mean, I understand that then. Yeah. I think my, my biggest concern is just if if Tesh does stay Dr. Mario, that's my biggest concern. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm pretty sure he's solid Dr. Mario and I'm and almost I'm positive he can make it work. I just feel like it'd be really dangerous. Yeah.
Oh, and, see, and there it is. There's a change. He feels the same way. He's going to oh. go again. Anyway. Um, is that... Does is he this, play Ganon? He does play Ganon. Huh. But... And May May goes Mewtwo. Wow. Hmm. Isn't... Uh, don't you normally have to wait for the, them to pick first before you... That is true. It is normally... May May shouldn't have been able to switch his character, mm -hmm. but I guess they're dead on mine. Yeah, more more of a gentleman's agreement kind of thing where it's not too consequential to them, I guess. Suppose. Mm -hmm. Still, that's uh, I'm I'm not comfortable with the Ganon pick. Yeah, I'm definitely not comfortable. But hey, Tesh does he does play Ganon? He's mm -hmm. played him in tournaments, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, I I feel like Karna would have to be up front most of the time just because Ganon's just so uns like he, he's, he has so much uh, downtime on his moveset as is. And as I'm saying this, he's Samus said 77. <laughs> as I'm saying this, 77% added on, on Samus but already. But Mei Mei about to kill him. I Does think, he have a jump? I think he saved it. He has yeah, a jump. Nice. It. Smart, yeah. smart stuff. Yeah, when your character is like Little Mac Ganon, you want to save the jump for the last moment possible. You don't want to jump too preemptively. So right now they're doing a good job. They're ha actually holding stage with us at the moment. Uh, oh, really good Nair. I think he's dead. Yeah. E yeah. E even if even if it's a double jump, it doesn't matter. He's too far off. Oh, Joker suiciding, missing his Zare. That's a real bad problem with Tether characters. Like it happened to me with Toon Link in tournament a lot too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very very difficult spacing on that one, especially when you have your opponent, your teammate off stage too. You want to be careful that yeah, you don't accidentally ledge jump them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really easy to get mixed up in those moments. And as I'm saying that, Karna does get spiked. Uh, I don't know what percent he was at, but uh, Joker takes that talk uh, totally. Confident. Yeah. Oh my god, Samus and Ganon definitely taking a lot of... Oh, that <laughs> he, died at, he died at like 79. <laughs> <laughs> Something extremely low. I mean, he got up, he hit him near the very edge of the level, so there's not much room to DI. Mm -hmm. like, exactly. And so Karna and Tesh with a very slight lead right now. It's definitely, it's definitely a more interesting pick. I'm actually very surprised at how well this is going out for them. <gasps> oh, and he gets a choke! Wow! Good trade. Okay. Good good, trade. Very good trade on Ganon's part. Yeah, Mewtwo's at 130. He's. He's frail. Like, as far as against Ganondorf, he's super frail right now. Oh he, my he god. Beautiful reads on Tesh on Joker right now. Reading his spot dodge tends he's really well. Ooh, he almost slided the up smash out of Karna's back throw. That would have been disgusting. Now, Tesh has been losing the matchup against Mei Mei for the most part, so Karna definitely needs to help him. As long as Tesh doesn't get gimped, they're good. You see how Joker's trying to get Tesh like off stage. Ooh, nice needles. Mm -hmm. Just to, just to keep the get pressure off of Tesh so you can get. Mm -hmm. Scary, scary. Oh so my he god. Got out of the All right, here we go. If Tesh Ooh. lives. Yeah, he's going. Nice. He's good. Yeah, Nair getting that, that really uh, large knockback. I believe that he got, got patched recently on the yeah. second hit of Nair. Joker's definitely going to stay off stage. Alright, let's see. <gasps> Oh, be careful missing. about that. I would have liked for Tesh to back throw into Karna since he was waiting, but... Mm. Mm, Shadow Ball. Tesh trying to play real smart. Mei Mei wants to kill him. Ooh, Tesh is getting a little greedy for that kill on yeah. Joker. He needs to calm down. Is he going to attack? Good attack. The but he's still... Ooh, oh, nice save by Mei Mei. Mei. Oh, But he still dies. Nice. I don't know what that was all about, but uh, now uh, we have... Oh, yeah. he's, he's I believe what happened there was Samus doesn't have enough horizontal momentum, so yeah. he just literally couldn't make it back to the stage. I'm trying to figure out why Mei Mei just gave up the stock. Because they were, they were, he was at about 30, give or take, at the last stock, and uh, Gan, uh, both Tesh and Karna were both at the 130, 140 range, up throw range, back throw range. Yeah. That's surprising that he just gave it up. Yeah. Maybe he just felt that he couldn't do it, or he may have messed up. Like, he thought he had a jump when he went off stage, and he actually didn't. But yeah, maybe. It's a possibility. Might be, maybe I'm looking too much into it, but maybe it's also a way to just stop their momentum right there. Mm -hmm. Just kill yeah. it right there, right away. To get, the, get their bearings and counter pick right back on them. But maybe it does go back to Yoshi. Not go back. He does go to Yoshi. Or was he Yoshi game one? Yeah, he, yeah was. he was good. He, he was, was Yoshi, Yoshi game, game one. one. I honestly feel like he should stay at Yoshi. They did really fine game one. 
And I guess he went Mewtwo because of the Battlefield pick, which I figured, like, Karn and Tesh would pick that. But right. Yoshi, like, he's not that bad on Battlefield, you know? Like, for the yeah. amount that they won the first game, I don't think it, like, warranted a character switch. But yeah, I agree. I think right now, the, the biggest question right now um, is, not the biggest question, but one of the things I'm concerned about now at this point in the, in the set mm. is this Joker's ability to just not fumble off stage. He's been fumbling oh. a lot off stage. I think two of those stocks that he lost was straight up from SDs or just not mm. reacting fast enough. Like when he got when he tech Ganon's up B. Yeah, that's very true. It's all right. So now Game three, guys, on Duck Hunt. I do like this pick for Joker and Meme. Lots of room. Ganon's yeah. going to have a hard time closing in on people. Especially Yoshi, who just has to jump. Ooh, oh my lord. 44 damage on Ganon. But Gam Ganon is a damage sponge. As long as he doesn't die, he can get a lot of percent. Did you see the double follow? Ooh, oh, Charge up. Did that's going <laughs> to... Oh, oh my god. Blasted. And May May. So much awareness right there. <laughs> Joker with the sharpshooting as well. Yeah, uh, I'm... That string on Tesh at the beginning of the game was just dirty, though. He just got carried all the way up around the tree and into the blast zone. Yeah. Intense. You see, now Meme and Joker have the right idea. They're just like, Karna can chill. We're just going to double team Ganon because yeah. it's Ganon. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're suffocating him a lot right now. And in the sense, there's so much room here. When they're pummeling Ganon, ping pong and back and forth, Karna has to run over to, to the other side of the stage to save him. Yeah. There's just way too much room, and it's the excellent pick. Uh, stage just clearly working in their favor right now. And because Tetch is so high on his second stock already, he, he, he's going to have a hard time committing to smash attacks when they're choking him down. Because and that could have been it if May May had closed it out with that up air. But Tetch will live. And that's it. And Tetch on his last stock where everyone else is on three stocks. Yeah, everyone else is definitely bleeding right now. It's just a matter of getting that, that next hit to take him out. Ganon, most of his aerials, I think all of his aerials at this point will take out their stock. It's just a matter of hitting them. Hitting them. Yeah. yeah. And if I feel like Karna's not supporting Tush for the, like, the place that they're trying to play. Ooh, Egg saves uh, <coughs> Samus, but then uh, nice follow-up by Tesh on the forward air from Karma's grab. Or Karna, sorry. Nice down air. All right, so red team still showing signs a lot. It really matters how well Karna holds the sock. And Tesh could definitely get some Ganon sides, which would totally even it up. Yeah, getting a Ganon side right now on his stock would be that would definitely be worth it because he's at 103 already. Both the uh, characters on the green team are still very healthy, so it would be worthwhile to give it an attempt, a shot. It's just Karna definitely needs to either to support him in getting that set up. Misses the is the ledge, and he's gonna have to take Karna's stock. And yeah, Karna's dead. That's it. Did he even? Did he have time to wall jump that? Nah, no. I, I don't think so. Yeah, they looked like he was really close, but just not. He probably wouldn't have had enough time to sure, get back up. Oh yeah. So this looks like this is this looks grim. <laughs> he gets a downer on Samus. So good job on that one. Like, if only he had been able to make those reads while Karna was still alive. Yeah, well, it, it was a matter of just being too suffocated uh, uh, related to characters. Or, well, Yoshi just weaving all around him. Samus has multi-hit hitboxes that are just uh, that outrange him. It's just very difficult for Ganon to find a spot where that's just healthy enough to throw a hitbox out at. Yeah, very true. Oh, Joker missing the punish on that. Should have been an easy one, but Ooh, they're still in full control. It. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Joker trying to set up the shield break setups. And <laughs> So what, there's very little options right now. Like Ganondorf, already a character. This is with, it. Oh, oh yeah, it misses it up there. Misses it. <laughs> so Ganon doesn't have many options already. As is, that's it. Nice. Good game to Green Team, uh, Meme and Joker. We'll take it at a solid two one. Two one. Yeah, solid game three actually. Yeah. But uh, in that set, on, at the end of that one, it's like Ganon already has a limited boost set that's safe on shield. 